Go so, like I saw you guys when you guys were coming. Back up now. Let's take picture with this, huh? Okay. Yeah, let's, no, no, yeah, I'm only giving a job and running. You just start out. Hello. Hello. Sorry, guys. Yeah. No, it's okay. You can try. Yes. It's okay. Leave it like that, okay? Uh, it's okay. 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 May fair, right? Three, 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 four, five. Let me give you three. Cheese, guys. Cheese. Yeah, wait, just wait a second. I'm sitting, I came out in a minute. Smile. 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 Second issue, come on. Come on. Yeah. Miss. <laughs> Kingdom person is the one who has pure of heart. So the Lord said, Blessed are the pure of heart, because the kingdom of God is theirs. Well, pure of heart, pure of soul, can see God clearly and can see the way easier and clearly. Because sins obscure us from seeing God. Sin obscures from seeing what is right. And so pure of heart helps us to see the way of the Lord better and clearer. And blessed are you if you are having this pure of heart, of soul. And the kingdom person continue to search and seek for this clear of heart, pure of heart. The kingdom person is a peacemaker. The person who brings peace and reconciliation, building bridge, not destruction, not hatred, but the contrary, love, as here, Queen and Augustine will come together to once again express this love that they did 10 years ago publicly. To follow the footstep of our Lord in the peace and in the life giving that He has for each of us. And so as today, you are being asked to be this leaven, this agent. And I want to conclude here with the very story of Juan, Juan Cho, our seminarian, he came to stay here in the summer. And I asked him to particularly work with the young adult to help them so that they can get a good start and a good foundation. And the word that Juan Cho described to me in order for him to work with the young adult, he said, Father, it's a revolution. It's a revolution. It is. Because he said he wanted to be the agent to encourage the young adults to participate in the life of faith in the community. And I have seen the difference. Just the few months that Juan Cho is here working on that. And the very word he said, it is revolution. 
And in order for us to be the personal kingdom, the agent that make changes, we also need to have this revolution of living our life of change. As St. Catherine said, if we suppose, each of us supposed to live of who we are as Christian, as Catholic, you will set the world on fire. Now I ask me and Agassino to please come forward. My dear Queen and Agostino, you have come here with your family and friends to celebrate your faithfulness to each other and to thank God for the years He has given you to live in mutual love. Through the joys and sorrows, the triumphs and trials of your life, God has been with you. The Church shares your joy today and is thankful to you for being such a powerful sign of God's loyal and faithful love for the world. God has enriched and strengthened you over the years by the sacrament of marriage. In renewing your vows today, you give witness once again to God's love. You have proven your devotion to each other by your life together. Now join your hands and renew your consent before God and His Church. Hi, Agustino. Take your queen somewhere to buy to be my wife. I promise to be through to you in good time and in bed and in sick and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Queen Lupai, take you and Destino to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You have declared your consent once again before the church. May the Lord in His goodness view you both with His blessings. My brothers and sisters, let us turn in prayer to God that he may bless Queen and Augustino and extend this blessing to all who need, who need his help. Blessed are you, Lord, King of all creation. You have made us your beloved people and have showered your gifts upon us. With Queen and Augustino, we bless you and thank you for their years together. Continue to fill their hearts with love for you and for each other. Stretch out your hand upon them and bless them. Grant that as they have lived their lives with one heart and one mind, they may continue to witness to your presence in their marriage. Bless their children and all their relatives and friends and lead them through this life to eternal happiness. With you, we offer you all praise and glory to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Congratulations once again. Amen.
ask our loving God to hear our prayers for the building up of the kingdom. For all people, that the Spirit will be with us when we find it hard to pray. We pray to the Lord. Lord our for the baptized, that the seed of faith instilled in our hearts may grow ever stronger. We pray to the Lord. Lord our for those in need of reconciliation, that they may know how compassionate our God is. We pray to the Lord. Lord our for our faith family, that we will be eleven in the world, showing forth God's power. We pray to the Lord. Lord our For the gentle repose of those who have died, that in mercy God may welcome them into heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord our In the silence of our hearts, we offer our own intention. We pray to the Lord. For the intentions of Francis and Brian McNeil, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. We join together in the prayer for reverence for life. Almighty God, you are of all that is good. We thank you for the precious gift. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
office or Father David or Eo, if you are planning to come to our day outing at the Royal Park. It's going to be a fun day for you on the 24th, on Thursday, so please uh, let us African rhythm make me want to dance already. <laughs> <laughs> and Queen and Agostino, if this is your 10, I can't wait for you to invite me to your 25th and your 50th. <laughs> and glorify God by your life. <laughs> Number six, seven, four.